Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're talking about how to make your MIDI based programming more realistic, specifically using submission audio products. So we're using a riff that I wrote in an episode of Thick Riff Thursday a few weeks ago. It sounds like this. So we're using Eurobase 3 for this. And right now the bass programming is pretty robotic. There are some velocity variations because the way I programmed it was I played in a couple parts and then I would drag notes around. So playing it in on the keyboard just right off the bat gave me a little bit more of a realistic feel. So the first thing I wanna do to make this more realistic is change up the articulations on specific notes. So the way this riff was played on guitar, we can match those articulations one-to-one -one by changing articulations of specific notes in the bass programming. So let me grab my guitar so we can go through the riff and see how it was played and see how we can match the bass to the guitar. Okay, so the way this riff is played uh, the first three notes are three different articulations. So it's down pick, hammer on, slide. And then all of these higher notes are upstrokes. And the lower notes are downstrokes. So the way we can match that with the bass programming, so we know these are gonna be downpicked, we know these are gonna be downpicked. We know these are gonna be hammer-ons. And we know these are gonna be slides. then all of these higher notes are going to be pick up. So there we go. We have a way more realistic bass performance just by changing the articulations. So the next thing we can use are the human eyes and position knobs within Submission Audio's true bass instruments. So right now the human eyes knob is set to machine and the position knob is set to zero. We can start to bring this knob up and it'll go up to human and up to bassist. So my sweet spot for this knob personally is on the human side, but right before it changes to machine. So essentially what this knob does is it's a velocity and timing randomizer. So the timing will be a little bit off of the grid and the velocities will vary just a little bit. Another important thing to remember is to set your bass tuning. So if you have your tuning set to the tuning that the guitar riff was played in, it is going to result in a performance that matches the guitar much better because the open strings are gonna stay the same. When you're playing an open string on guitar, you'll be playing an open string on bass and the fretted notes will be in the same position as the guitar. So this riff is played in drop F sharp, so I've got my bass tuned to drop F sharp. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the position knob up. So by default, Submission Audio's instruments are going to play the note on the first available position on the highest string. So right now, this note is being played on the third fret of the D string. Now, we don't want it to be played there because on guitar, it was not played there. Let's pull the position knob up to the fourth fret. It's only gonna use these lower frets if it absolutely needs to, and that's the only available position for that note. So let's hear it now. So you can see it's not avoiding these notes completely, it's using these frets down here when it needs to, but it's playing these higher notes higher up on the neck, and that's giving me a performance that matches the guitar riff much better than if we left this position knob down at zero. Alternatively, if you don't wanna use this position knob, you can also use the four string articulations that you can see on the key switch map here. So if you wanna force the B string, you can place a 
note on G8. If you want to force the E string, you can place a note on F sharp eight and so on. So let me play what we just did in the context of the whole mix and then I'll mute the guitar so you can hear it with just the drums and then I'll solo the bass so you can hear the bass totally by itself. By the way, if you guys are interested in downloading my Logic templates for Get Good Drums Modern and Massive, the P5 Matt Halpern kit, and a Logic template using only stock Logic plugins, go to architecttigerstudios.com and check them out. So yeah, between adjusting your velocities, using different articulations, using the human eyes and the position knobs, you are going to create some really realistic sounding bass recordings with programmed bass. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.